Hey guys, all right, we're gonna play with another acrylic pour. I'm going to use three colors and one transparent. And I know you're all going, what? Okay, so I've mixed up my colors already. I've got some neon pink. And in here, I just have pouring medium and water and paint, about 20% pouring medium to paint, and then a little bit of water, and you mix those up really well, and then a little bit of water at a time until you get this nice, smooth, sort of cream-like consistency that when you do this and you lift your knife or stick up that it just runs right off in a continuous stream. So I have titanium white, Van Dyke brown, and neon pink. In this fourth one, I'm going to put just pouring medium and then a little bit of water. And we're going to, you don't have to put too much water. And omitting the paint just means there's no pigment in here. So you just have the clear sort of milky, uh, it's not really clear, it's sort of translucent um, pouring medium, and, but you want that same consistency. Now to each one of these, I'm going to add, this is, this is Floetrol, which is a um, house paint additive. You get it at the hardware store. It's also called Flood. And I'm going to add a good, I don't know, two squirts to each one of the colors and then um, like maybe three to the white because there's more white than there's anything else. Put the cap back on that and put the cap back on the water. Close this. And then I'm going to mix that in really well. I've been experimenting. I have no idea if this is going to work or not the way I want it to. We'll find out. So mix the Floetrol in. I sound weird because my asthma is really just killing me today. Okay. Then we're going to take our silicone oil and we're going to put silicone oil in each one of these. Again, a good two squirts of oil. And stir. Stir it in really well. You want it all mixed in there really well. I'm going to stand up for this next part. I was sitting down. Okay, so this is going to be our cup. We're going to do a dirty pour. I don't think we're going to do a flip cup. All right, so we're going to start with the titanium white, just a little, just some of it. There we go. And then I'm going to put in some pink. And some brown. Okay, and then we're going to put in some more white. And I'm going to put in some of the clear. Not all of it, just some. Some pink. And some more brown. I want to reserve a bit of paint. I love what's going on in there already. Can you see that? So cool. Actually, do I want to do a flip cup? No, I don't. So we're going to just give it a bit of a stir. My desk is a mess again. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to... Are you ready? Alright, let's go. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take some of my clear OK, 
Okay. I'm going to take our cup again and we're going to put more paint in our cup. Use up the rest of the paint. I found that this mixture work, works pretty well for me getting some cells going on. There's a couple of really great um, acrylic pouring channels out there on YouTube. One of them is Anne Marie Ritterhoff and I will try to remember to link her channel in the description. If I forget somebody remind me. turning out a lot more pink than I thought it would. No idea if that's good or bad. I forgot my gloves again. Every time I do this, I forget to put gloves on. Whoa. All right, let's get the torch out. The torch will um, pop some air bubbles. It'll help bring some of the cells to the top. This is going to look very different when it's dry than it does right now, but it should still be interesting. I've got a little bit left in the cup. I kind of want to flip it onto a piece of paper, so there's some really great cell action going on over here. I'm going to give you guys a close-up in just a minute. And any place where we have just pure pouring medium should allow that turquoise background co color to come through. There we go. Be careful with the torch, you know, it's hot. All right, let's get a piece of paper. And let's just grab this watercolor block. And I'm going to scrape anything that's left out of these cups into our flip cup. 
I don't think there's a lot left, but I think there's a little bit. You know, I do own gloves. I just constantly forget to wear them, and my hands up, end up gross. going to take what's left here and we're going to just do this. And we're going to leave that on there. I'm going to clean up and I'm going to just leave that sit like that while I'm cleaning up and I'll be right back. Okay, my cups are out there soaking for a minute. I'm going to flip this one up. Okay. This is just leftover paint. If you tilt it too much, you start to lose any cells that you're getting and it starts to get a bit muddy. So you have to kind of be careful. Okay, so again, I'm going to get out my little torch. Okay, so here's the piece of paper. Look at that. Can you see some of what's going on in there? So one of the tricks I found is don't use too many colors. <laughs> use too many colors, it gets weird. I'm going to take the camera down. I'll be right back. Here's a close-up. Look at some of these cells going on. And you get a peek of the turquoise poking through. That's going to dry with sort of a filmy appearance. I kind of like. These were a mixture of paints before anybody asked me. Some Amsterdam acrylics, some studio PVO acrylics, and some just generic paints. So there you go. I hope you guys try doing some acrylic pours and if you do uh, let me know how it turns out. Go check out Anne-Marie Ritterhoff's channel, and um, there's a couple others. I'll try to link them in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave a comment here in the video or email me. My email is um, in the video description, along with the links to my Facebook groups, my Etsy shop if you want to support my channel, my Happy Mail address, all that stuff. So go check it out. Have fun. Have a great day, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.